Welcome to this presentation of Robotech's new fourth generation servo drives. Over the next few minutes, we will show you the technologies and products we have engineered to help make your project a success. The most significant change is the use of the G4 processor. This MCU runs three times faster than before and includes on chip motor acceleration hardware. This allowed us to create new, better, and faster algorithms that we'll describe in more details in a moment. Yet, the processor has memory and power to spare for future capabilities. Another important development is the support of the EtherCAT, Profinet, and Ethernet IP field buses. These industry standard protocols are handled by a dedicated communication coprocessor, leaving the main processor free to focus on motor control tasks and thus improving total system performance. Here we see a practical example of how the faster processor dramatically improves performance compared to a third generation drive. The purple line shows a command requesting an instant torque change from plus 30 amps to minus 30 amps, and 30 milliseconds later back to plus 30 amps. The Gen 3 drive with its 1 millisecond control loop performs imperfectly at that speed. The Gen 4 control loop runs 16 times faster. The output current tracks the command with minimal delay and practically no overshoot. Here we see the details of the Gen 4's control loop architecture and some of its other important enhancements. In addition to the fast current loop we just discussed, control is now composed of three cascaded loops for position, speed, and current, each with its own PID gains, resulting in easier tuning and optimal performance. Offsets and feed-forward blocks have been added to improve system responsiveness. A notch filter has been added to tune out vibration at the system's mechanical resonance frequency. A mechanism has been added to compensate for the magnetic cogging caused by the rotor teeth and permanent magnets inside the motor and smooth out the rotation at very slow speeds. Current loop feedforward uses the motor model to instantly compute and apply the output needed to reach the desired torque. This increases the system's responsiveness and further reduces overshoots compared to the PID loop alone. Robots typically operate over a wide range of load that can change on the run. Adaptive control continuously observes the system's inertia and applies new gains on the fly, resulting in optimal performance at any load point. Our scientists are continuously working on new and improved algorithms, maintaining our drives at the leading edge of motion control technology. Another exciting new feature is automatic field weakening. Here is a typical electric motor torque speed curve. With field weakening, the motor can reach a significantly higher maximum speed. It also produces additional torque at the motor's rated top speed. This is entirely and automatically managed by the drive, essentially extracting more performance from the same motor at no added cost or effort. New automatic setup and tuning features have been added to save precious effort and time. The rotor sensor is a key component of the system, as we just saw. In less than a minute, the new sensor setup function automatically determines the sensor mechanical offset, its linearity and polarity. The data is then stored in the drive's configuration memory. The motor is typically ready to run immediately and efficiently after this step. The motor's internal resistance and DQ inductances can be automatically measured by the drive. This information is often missing from the motor's manufacturer's specs. It is however essential for tuning the control loops and for the implementation of model-based algorithms. The current loop can be tuned in a matter of minutes as well. For a desired torque bandwidth, the drive and PC utility automatically determine and store the loop's correct PI gains. After this step, the output current will follow torque commands with minimal delay and no overshoot. An automatic process is also provided for measuring the inertia and friction of the system. With this data, the drive then computes and applies the speed loop's PI gains for a desired response bandwidth. Users of Robotech Gen 3 drives can easily migrate their application to the new generation drives. All the company's most popular drives have been updated or will soon be. Robotech's Gen 4 drive technology is at the heart of a new line of motors with integrated drives. These space-saving, easy-to-install and easy-to-service units come pre-configured and tuned to deliver a true plug-and-play experience. They are composed of a long-life precision NADEC motor with integrated magnetic encoder. The first member of the family is a 60mm frame motor available in two power ranges. Integrated motor drives with smaller and larger frame motors are currently under development. 
Because they are G4 based, they support all the advanced features and algorithms discussed so far in this presentation. The products feature an innovative mechanical design resulting in a very compact assembly with efficient cooling and solid environmental performance. These integrated motors are typically mounted away from other motors with which they need to cooperate and away from the main computer or PLC that supervises their operation. Connectivity to field buses is therefore essential. Support is available for CanOpen, EtherCAT, Profinet, and Ethernet IP. This concludes our technology introduction. For product datasheets and support information, please come to www.robotech.com. We are looking forward to succeeding together. Thank you for your attention.